Boss, I want to talk to you about your Sprint event. So if you have a Sprint event right now and you're looking for a business line of credit with EIN only, no personal guarantee, then you really want to watch this show till the end because I will be explaining a lot of stuff for you to actually make sure that you get that cash, you get the funding that you need to boost your Sprint event business and actually uh, do this without uh, personal guarantee at all, okay? So here's an overview I really want you to pay attention to. So when we talk about getting a Sprint event business line of credit, you really need to understand that it, you need you want to go for this business line of credit if you're looking for working capital. This is very important. So anytime we talk about business line of credit, whether you are running a Sprint event or, or cargo van or box truck or or 18 wheeler whatever whatever you whatever you're running right now whatever you are using to haul you need if you need a business line of credit you are thinking about working capital and working capital is the basically the kind of short-term financing that you need to survive if you are running a sprint event business line of credit so the very first thing you need to really pay attention to is you need to get your four c's in order boss i want you to think about that i want you to remember those are four c's so we're talking about annual revenue your, what we call chronology, what we call collateral. And the fourth element is the current debt schedule. So your commitments, okay, four C's. Get your four C's in order. So let's first talk about the first one, the your, the, 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 the annual revenue, the cash. So if you want to get a Sprint event business line of credit, EIN only, no personal guarantee, boss, I want you to reassure the lender that you are generating enough cash. Because see, just just walking around and say, you know, I want to apply for a business line of credit. But if you have no, if you have no revenue, what are you going to use to repay the loan or the line of credit? Because the lender is kind of is kind of scared about the, you actually start ghosting them when, when you when you are defaulting on, on the line of credit. They don't want that. They're trying to cover their ass. Remember that they need to cover their ass too. That's how you minimize risk. That's how you minimize default risk. So you got to have cash if you want to get a Sprint event business line of credit EIN only, no personal guarantee. Be ready to demonstrate that you, that you have enough revenue coming in so that you can repay the line of credit, whatever you tap onto the line. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. Whew, welcome back to the show. I just appreciate having you here and talking to you. And so annual revenue, that's the first C. The second C is time in business. That's what we call chronology. So make sure that your Sprint of Van, line, your Sprint of Van business has been, in, has been in operation for a while now. Three months, six months, that's kind of cool because the lender wants to see a pattern, wants to see a pattern of uh, consistency in terms of the revenue generation. And the third C, remember I said four C's, right? The, 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 so first C, cash. Second C, chronology. Third C, collateral. So the thing is, if you have collateral, that your chances of qualifying for a Sprint Van business line of credit with EIN only, no personal guarantee or higher because, uh, you know, obviously you are collateralizing the, the line of credit. So you are maybe uh, putting forward a piece of equipment in your company or you just uh, collateralizing the, the whole uh, line of credit with your van, with your Sprint Van. Yeah. If you have, a, if your Sprint Van, if you own the Sprint Van and you, you still have, you still have some equity in, in the vehicle, you can actually use that, uh, the assets, that part of uh, the, uh, like whatever equity you had in the vehicle to collateralize the business line of credit. Now, if you, if you do it that way, you're not going to get a, a a large limits though because i mean a sprinter van like 50 grand or 50 grand maximum if you have a used van you probably have a like 30 grand or whatever so you're not going to get a lot so unless unless your business your sprinter van business does have other assets then then you can collateralize to get the business line of credit that's fine okay and so that's the that's the the third c the fourth c is uh, the fourth c is commitments so when we talk about commitments so the lender is kind of is that like kind of interested in knowing what your commitments are when we talk about commitments i am speaking about your financial commitments your monetary debt obligations your debt obligations okay what is your current debt schedule that's really important be very clear about that i want you to really be clear about that because they are going to probe you the lender are, is going to probe you to know exactly what kind of uh, where you are where you are at are you like a are you buried in debt are you buried in debt or are you free right now Okay, this is really important because again, as, as I said before, the letter is always scared. Of, they are scared as uh, as hell about you not being able to repay them. And what will happen here is that they start calling you and then your ass is ghosting them and then they have to actually uh, chase your ass and really, no, 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 they don't want none of that. They don't want to have to chase your sorry broke ass if you don't pay the business line of credit. Okay, this is why they want to make sure they, they want to pay attention first to your current debt schedule, your commitments to see whether or not you have a high DTI or low DTI. We'll talk about high DTI, 
what are we talking about we are talking about debt to income ratio your debt to income ratio how much revenue you are generating versus uh how many debts you currently have on the books The next thing I want you to do here is that if you are trying to get a Sprinter Van business line of credit, EIN only, boss, I want you to really think about what kind of a business line of credit you want to have. See, the thing is, as I said earlier, as I mentioned the term collateral, and but I want to dig a little deeper here. But because the thing is that there is a huge, there is a massive difference when you are talking about EIN only, no personal guarantee, a Sprinter Van business line of credit. If you collateralize the transaction, things actually go real fast. And you can actually talk to a lot of uh, lenders out there. I mean, you know, because because once you collateralize the the transaction, you have all like all lenders want to talk to your ass all of a sudden. Everybody wants to talk to you, wants to be want to be friend with you, blah 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 blah. Because banks and uh, credit unions in general, they are risk averse, right? They are trying to make sure that they, they mitigate they mitigate risk at all costs. So if you say, listen, I don't need any, I don't need a lot of, uh, I don't need a a credit check i don't need uh let's see i want ein only i don't want no personal guarantee then you're going to have to pledge the companies the business the sprint event business you have you are going to pledge the business's assets okay so that's the first option though first option you can you can you can actually have a secured business line of credit for your sprint event ein only no personal guarantee and then you have the unsecured options by the way, boss, let me quickly remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about how to get a Sprinter Van business line of credit with EIN only. EIN only, boss. EIN only. And uh, the thing I want to say here is that when we talk about unsecured business line of credit, we are speaking about uh, we're speaking about you making sure you have good credit on the business side. Because the whole thing is, if you want to have no personal guarantee EIN only, you need to make sure that you you are buttressing, you are solidifying the profile of of your Sprinter Van business. Okay, and we're talking about you making sure you have uh, you have clear a clear accounting of uh, of your loads of your load revenue. You need to have a clear a clear accounting of uh, what type of uh, strategy you have in terms of monetizing your your Sprinter van. So remember, when we talk about monetizing a Sprinter van, we're speaking about four different revenue models. We have the RPH, the RPC, the RPM, and the R and the RPL. Let me just break it down for you. RPH we have rate per hour. RPC, we have rate per contract. RPL, we have rate per load. And the RPM, we have rate per mile, right? So those are this is the quartet of, uh, of strategies you need to think about in terms of monetizing your, uh, your sprint event. What I want you to do next is, is if you're trying to, uh, if you are trying to get a Sprinter van business line of credit with EIN only and no personal guarantee, you got to really sit down and really think about, okay, you know what? There are a lot of play, there are a lot of players in this, in this industry, a lot of lenders, and I want to really choose the best one for me. And as, as I've said on other shows, when we talk about getting a, a delivery business loan in general, in this country, geography plays an important role. Geography. Where, where are you located? What is your bank located at? You know what city what county what state are you looking at in i mean you know the realities are different whether you are in new york or whether you are in dover delaware the realities are different whether you are in chicago or whether you are in piscataway new jersey or whether you are in uh, you know you, you get the point I'm, I'm trying to pick on new jersey's uh <laughs> cities today because uh you know my family i just gotta I just, I was, i'm just so happy to see uh, my family again come back and visit me but what i want to say here is that when we talk about researching the lenders requirements you got to really pay attention to what lenders are looking for in terms of uh the uh the paperwork that you need to to, to submit right usually lenders if they want to uh they want you to consider you for a sprint event business not a credit ei and only no personal guarantee they will want three things three things number one they will want to have a business plan so your sprint event must must actually a detail must elaborate on the way it makes money, the monetization avenues that I just spoke about earlier, the, the models, the monetization models that you have, you know, RPC, RPM, RPH, RPL, got to think about that, right? Very important. And then what you want to do here is you want to also, uh, you want to put forward your, 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 um, your tax returns, your business tax returns. So if you, again, the whole thing is you want the, the lender to only look at your business, 
your sprint event business, not your personal credit. So you got to show your your business plan. You got to show you got to show your business tax returns, and you also have to show all the business licenses and permits that you have. Let's say if you are if you are hauling, if you if your sprint event business is hauling, let's say hazmats, you better have you better have the proper licenses and permits. If you are if you are hauling, you know. Uh, hazardous uh, hazardous uh, materials. You really need to uh, have the proper uh, proper licenses at the federal level, but also at the at the state level. Okay, very important. And the next thing I want you to do here is that if you are trying to get if you are trying to get a sprinter van business line of credit EIN only no personal guarantee you really you need you, you need to sit down and really uh, think about all the requirements in terms of uh, revenue because some lenders will say listen you know what what you're asking us is fine you are asking us to do this EIN only we have no problem we have no problem doing this on an EIN only but you really need to bring to to show us assurances that everything is fine from your end that's that's why sometimes they will ask you to see your annual revenue. Like how much has your Sprint event generated in revenue for the last uh, six months, one year, okay? And again, I want to insist on the fact that you can be a, a you can be a startup, you can be a new business, a new Sprint event business, and still get your 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 line of credit with EIN only. You just need to invest a lot more in preparing a an impeccable business plan. And having a solid business plan i ain't talking about no uh, no cheap ass business plan template you download from the internet no no don't do that don't don't really get don't go that far okay i want you to really spend time actually writing a business plan yourself obviously you gotta be uh you gotta be intellectually fit to do that if you if if writing business plan is not something that you like okay no problem you can actually just outsource this you know there are a lot of folks out there who have time who have the resources who have the talent more than you and you, you and me to write a business plan. Yeah, they, 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 they'll just get the job done. You just pay them a hundred bucks or 200 bucks. That's it. Okay. So, but please boss, no cheap ass business plan template from the internet that you download and try to customize by changing the one thing here, changing the one, one thing there and trying to say, yeah, you know, now I have a, a business plan. No, 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 no. What the F don't do this. Like the funny thing is we see the, we, we see this a lot. And can you imagine when lenders see that, you know what they say? They say, what the F? Because this guy is asking me to give to give him one hundred thousand dollars in a sprint event business line of credit, but he's not even able to write me a portable, a potent, a a, uh, a compelling business plan. So when we talk about gathering the required information, you know, think about the revenue, think about your 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 uh, your, uh, your bank statements. Oh yeah, they want to see that your financial statements, so your balance sheets, your income statements, your cash flow statements for your sprint event business. And one thing I want you to do here is to actually start thinking about the lender that you want to go for, right? I mean, the bottom line here is what? The bottom line, when we talk about, I think I just said it, geography, Geography, geography. It's about location, location, location. Where are you at, boss? Where are you at? Talk to me about where you are at because the banking, uh, the lending options that you have will depend on your location primarily. Not just because lenders, because not just because local lenders are more likely to approve you, but also it's because delivery business, like the way the, the industry is structured, it's really, really a local business. Unless you have uh, those niche industries where you're doing OTR or you're doing like an out of state or, or interstate OTR, usually you are going to haul, haul goods and uh, from like within the same states, like from one city to another or from one neighborhood to another. That's very local. That's why you want to select a lender that, that actually uh, is uh, local. Okay. What I'm trying to say here is that don't go for those, uh, those big banks like national banks unless you really already have a relationship with them. I mean, if you have a relationship with uh, Bank of America or with uh, Chase or with PNC or with uh, Wells Fargo or City, then go ahead. But if you but if you ain't got no relationship and you have to build a relationship from scratch now, I'll just say go with a credit union or grow with an online lender. Okay, grow with an online lender, or you can go with uh, a uh, an alternative lender. So you have a lot of players in this industry when it comes to uh, getting a Sprinter Van business line of credit. 
So I select the vendor. By the way, boss, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. What are we talking about here? I am just talking about, I'm, I'm explaining to you ways you can get a Sprinter van, business line of credit, EIN only, no personal guarantee. And uh, the thing is that if you want to get the, the amount real fast, make sure that you pay attention to the lender, of course, pay attention to the, to the, uh, the repayment terms, pay attention to the maximum credit limits, pay attention to the, the requirements, pay attention to the associated fees because, you know, uh, obviously you need the money, but, uh, Hey, those fees can add up too, can really creep into your revenue, into your, into, into, yeah, into how much you're paying into, into your cost, if you will. And also think about special features. I mean, some, some Sprinter van business line of credits might have uh, actually, uh, some features in terms of like, uh, you know, um, credit monitoring, like we on the business side, for example, maybe having access to your PDX score. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can have like uh, some reporting or capabilities. So the, the last thing I want you to do here is that if you are trying to get a sprint of hand business, not a credit, yeah, and only no personal guarantee, you're going to have to pay attention to how you apply. You need to apply at the end. I mean, you know, <laughs> if you don't apply, you're not getting the loan. You're not getting the line of credit anyway. So you got to apply. And, but the thing is that you got to be really strategic here because see, when we talk about EIN only, no personal guarantee, we are trying to uh, preserve our FACO score. We are trying to make sure that the lender forgets about the FACO score and just looks at uh, your, uh, your, your pay score, for example, your Intel score, your, your Experian Intel score. V like plus you you want the lender to look at your Equifax business score. You want the lender to look at your business because see the thing is when, when people talk about EIN only, it doesn't mean that the lender is just is only paying attention to your EIN as a number. I mean your EIN is just a number, you know. <laughs> your EIN is just a number. It's like your social. It's like you're asking me to actually lend you money because you you happen to have a social. But the question is, what is your social at? What what numbers are we talking about, right? So the number really makes a difference. So your EIN is just a number, but the number that is it is tied to, in other words, your business credit score, your business overall, your business's uh, financial solidity, you know, your balance sheet, your income statement, your uh, cash flow statements, those elements, among others, are going to determine how much you actually will qualify for. If you were to go with, if you were, to, if you wanted to get a Sprinter van, business, not a credit, EIN only. Okay. So, but it's just better to be, uh, to be careful about the application process too. So you can actually maybe try to apply online first. So apply online and then see how things are developed from there. And, uh, but if, if you are applying at a credit union or bank, then go to, go to a physical branch. I want you to sit down and have a combo with uh, with a, a loan rep or a line of credit rep so they can explain things to you a way more. But please be aware that the, the, there might be some fees that are associated with uh, a business line of credit. Okay. So a draw fee, for example, think about payment processing fee, a wire transfer fee, a late fee, and a prepayment penalty. So you do have a constellation of things to really think about. All right. Thank you so much boss for your attention i really appreciate having you here today so i was just quickly i was quickly talking to you about how to get a spread of n business line of credit ein only no personal guarantee and i told you to actually get your four c's in order right four c's cash chronology collateral and current debt schedule and uh you gotta decide what kind of a business line of credit for your sprint event you need you have to research lenders and especially their requirements, their conditions. You, you have to gather the paperwork and then select the one that you want to go for and then apply. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>